This is not Ilya, but Ilya doesn't make champagne yet. But it's going to, and it's going to be just as good. This is from one of our Patreons. Not one of them. They all went on a group effort. So uh, we had Bree, S. This is off the top of my head. I'm sorry if I missed you. Uh, Jackie. Jackie is the one that said, pop the um, champagne that we got you. Yeah. And uh, you guys were so generous to, Jackie came over, bought me flowers, got us a gift certificate to a restaurant. That's where Shannon Bedore went before she got the DUI. <laughs> this is our actual anniversary eve. Thank you guys for your well wishes. Eve? It's actually Night. Day. Sorry. Yeah. Night. Much appreciated. Clinky, clinky. Drinky, drinky. Drinky, drinky. But Ilya Wine's coming out with a kava. Here's to us. Three years. Yes. Greatest three years of my life. Me too. The best. Mm. That's delicious. This is the Daily Smash for Wednesday, October 11, 2023. I'm not going to lie. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. This is some Dom. Thank you um, to our patrons for buying this. Yeah. $150 bottle of wine. Uh, two, 2013. Oh. I just bought some, um, I don't know why, but I had a whole bunch of people coming over for the breakfast and I bought a bunch of Kirkland champagne. <laughs> yeah. Like twelve dollars. <laughs> if someone, this is a little bit better. This is a little bit better. I think I think you tell the but difference. I, honestly, it's pretty good. Mm. That Kirkland champagne is pretty good. It's not bad, not bad at all. Coming up, Tamara Judge hospitalized, and Gina has some not so kind words for Andy Cohen. Kelly is going to talk about that. Subscribe here if you haven't yet. Help us get to fifty k right away, and check out our Patreon. Rick and Kelly show on Patreon.com. It's longer, unfiltered, uncensored, and commercial free. We have some really uh, compelling stuff for you this week. Our episode of 112 on Patreon. Ilya Wine does sponsor the Daily Smash. We love our Ilya Wine. And you can get yours at 20% off using the discount code Rick and Kelly 20 at Ilya.com. They have a subscription wine club now. And you can choose your bundle or they'll choose it for you, and you will get this fantastic wine delivered right to your door at that great discount every month, two months, or three months, your choice for a year. Uh, we re highly recommend you try Ilya. Right, baby? Yes, baby. Okay. Um, we have some well wishes for our anniversary. I was oh, gonna... my gosh. Thank you, each and every one of you. We, we had a lot. A lot. A lot of comments yeah. of thanking us, congratulating us, and uh, sending well wishes. It was so... Nice to wake up this morning yeah. and read them. Yeah. Thank you. They're really sweet. Um, including from Mary Nick 1111, which happens to be one of our lucky numbers. Yes, it is. Happy blessed anniversary. You guys always make us smile. A rare few could weather simultaneous double unemployment, suddenly working together 24-7, and navigating a new marriage during the pandemic. You're meant to be. Thank you. Kelly, huge prayers for your friend's parents in Jerusalem with no communication. You got an update on that, right? Uh -huh. For Esther. Uh, my parent also has dementia, and I can't fathom Esther's fears nor the evil to so many innocents. Rick, what a beautiful way to end the show. Thank you both for the gorgeous sunset, today's laughter as a respite, and respectful, compassionate end to the episode. Love and prayers for everyone hurting. Um, oh, can I give an update on yeah, Esther? Yeah, go ahead. Esther's um, parents were found. Uh, her dad did call her, and they are alive and well. So Good. thank you, Esther, for the update, and we all were praying for them. So thank you for letting us know. Michael Valenzuelo, happy anniversary. You found a good guy, Kelly. No kidding. <laughs> thank you. Uh, this from Kylie Quest. You guys are so sweet together. Please stay married for the rest of your lives. Aw, thanks. That's really nice. I love this one. Uh, from Buy YouTube Views, which we don't do. I'm not sure how I got here, but I'm glad I did. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so cute. Uh, and then uh, there was this. Don't understand the photo with the masks on. Why from Mara No D. kidding. Why? Listen, you guys know I was anti-mask through that whole 10-10-2020. 
I was still employed, as I thought, with uh, Bravo. With Bravo. So, and I was still employed by Fox. And at that time, there were restrictions on large gatherings. And if we didn't wear masks for our wedding, we would have been shamed, shamed, shamed. It would have been bad. I want to talk about on our Patreon also that I wrote to Andy Cohen last night. Oh, yeah. And kind of a fit of a rage. And he did respond back to me. So, uh, so we had custom masks made. Obviously, they're not ND2020s or whatever the hell they N are. N95s. <laughs> yeah, those. Uh, they were for show. And they said just married and the, the wedding date. And we put them on for the pictures. We didn't wear them. Trust me, we didn't wear them beyond when we had to. We did it for show. It was all show and no go. <laughs> it was a lot of go. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yesterday we showed a picture of Mauricio Omansky with a woman who looked a little looks a little bit like Kelly, and there was speculation that he was dating her, but it wasn't Mauricio's girlfriend. It was his dad's. We we talked about this yesterday. No, well we talked about the picture, but I didn't know yet when I posted it when we did the show that it was oh, his dad. I, I mean, it, it might have been out there, but I didn't say That's that. That's how gullible we all are. I guess. When we believe what we read. Um, I wasn't gullible because I already read it. I thought we said it yesterday, the thing. I don't think we did. That's why I just wanted to make... Because someone else said in one of the comments, they were pointing it out. Like, uh -huh. hey, you probably know this by now. Right. And they, and they pointed that out. You want to do this Tamara Judge hospitalized story? Yeah. Breaking Housewives news. Tamara Judge hospitalized for intestinal obstruction. She said, praying I won't need surgery on Instagram. Do you know that's um, a side effect to Ozempic? Well, that's why someone accused her of taking Ozempic. And that's why she wound up in the hospital. And she said a nasty, she made a nasty post about how she's not on Ozempic. And how dare they. Oh, God, look at her. She looks like a witch. <laughs> she looks like a witch to me. Um, and I did like a side by side. I want you to do this. In this picture, she looks like Donna Mills. Donna Mills is 80 something years old. She yeah. looks great. Great wow. job, Donna Mills. You look wow. fantastic. Wow, 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 wow. She looks great, but Tamara Judge looks like her. I'm gonna show you this picture. Who wore it better? Who wore it better? I think Donna Mills. Tamara Judge said, these comments are disgusting about Ozempic. I've suffered from intestinal problems for years. I've had multiple surgeries in the past 12 years. Remember when you all made fun of me for not having a belly button? That was due to emergency life-saving surgery. Part of my intestines were being strangled. My grandmother she died said of intestinal problems. She said that belly button was because she had a, uh, a hernia. That's what she told me. It's all over the news. You guys can do your research. That really? reason why she doesn't have a belly button is because she had a hernia. She is such a liar, she doesn't even know her own lies. That's how much of a liar she is. She maybe forgot what she told everyone. She is told so you. insanely wacky. Like, like she is the devil. She is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Like um, that's what she is. They say that intestinal obstruction can be caused by a number of possible conditions from abdominal adhesions, hernias, scar tissue formation, tumors, or even Crohn's disease. Judge Hinton she hinted she will need further testing until she knows more. She did that publicly so everybody will feel sorry for her. Of course. She um, is such a freaking... You were wondering if she was back from Scotland. And yeah. obviously she is. Yeah, she, she got booted off that stupid <laughs> show. She's shooting... It's not a stupid show. I mean, I like that show, with Traders. Trader? Yeah, Traders? it was good. We, we enjoyed it. Yeah. She was filming season two of Traders in Scotland. And... Now she's back and in the hospital. But MJ is still there. Really? Yeah. I like her. I do too. She's cool. She's awesome. A really nice person. Yeah. Um, judge uh, talked about that belly button surgery. Uh huh. She said it was one of the most painful things I've ever done in my life. Oh really? I thought the the uh, base lift and the four, I don't know, the fifty million dollar, fifty million boob jobs that she's had, implant in, implant out, implant in. She is such a joke. I well, can't stand her. She, uh... I mean, she is a Lisa Rinna. I like Lisa Rinna, but she... Lisa Rinna acted for that show. She wanted to make... This girl is... Oh, my God. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. I hate it. She, um, won't be doing her two T's in a... Whatever it Twats? is. Twats? Yes. Yeah. Podcast with Teddy because of this. Oh. Good. I don't... 
don't, who wants to listen to that garbage? I, I don't. I mean, we, we dumb listen. and dumber over there. Who, who listens to that? <laughs> Seriously. We, we gave it a couple minutes once. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get to graduate high school and you know college what I think? because I was having spreading my legs and having kids. I, I know so many women that have had children early and they went to school. I didn't even know strippers that stripped and went to college. Yeah. Like, like don't, don't, you either want to do it or you don't. Right. Like, you know you what I mean? You make the effort. You make the effort or you don't. Like, uh-huh. don't, don't, don't give excuses of why you can't. That's why I don't like, like, I have all these friends, like little bugs here, that always say, oh, I can't do this because of this and this and this. I can't do it. No, no. Take action. You can do whatever you want to do and you can succeed if you want. I agree. 100%. Um, the only other point I was going to make about her podcast, the one thing I noticed was they're not in the same place. And I, I just, I don't think you can have she a successful... She told me she makes $250,000 on that podcast. Really? That's what she told me. But she's such a liar. I don't oh, know what to believe. Exactly. Good for her. Um, G3 wants the answers to the trivia game question. This is so yummy. But this is better. Our live I can't sh- wait for Ilya to come out with a... With a champagne? A, with a sparkling wine. Our live show is... Well, champagne's only... From the region of France. Right. Our live show is Friday in Detroit. And we have extra VIP tickets for the after show VIP meet and greet that are available. But this show is going to sell out. So if you're in the area and you're interested, you want to come out and hang out and meet us, and we'd love to meet you, uh, go to rickandkellydetroit.com and get your your tickets. Um, There might only be a few left at this point. But we're really excited. We're flying Thursday. Mm -hmm. I just sent... Books and swag. You want to show them the sweatshirts? Oh, yeah. And it's so soft and cozy. Really nice sweatshirts. Thank you, Bruno, one of our patrons, for coming up with the, the design. We get, This is for you, Bruno. Yeah, we're sending you your, your own swag first. This is the back. This is an XL. That's for the Rick and Kelly Show on Patreon. And this is the Smash logo. How cute is that? Isn't that cool? Our own Patreon did that for us. Yeah, and here's the front. So nice. So these are not, I haven't put them on our website yet. As soon as I do, I'll let you know. But you guys, this is so cozy. Um, love it. We also got hats. We got this smash hat. And we got our Rick and Kelly show on Patreon. Just in hat. time for winter. You know who's going to get first crack at these are the, the guests at our live show in Detroit. We're bringing them with us. And we're going to sell them there first. And then they'll be available to everybody else. That looks nice on you. It's so cozy. Yeah? I and like that. And it's getting that. cozy outside. Oh, yeah. I love it. That looks great. Thanks. And it's, it's soft too, right? Let me see the hat, babes. It's really soft. Which one do you want? You want the Rick and Kelly show sure. or the smash hat? The smash. Okay. No, oh, yeah, because this is the smash. Because we're the smash. You guys are my smashers out there. Right. Um, so we have uh, a video from Gina. How cute is this? On Instagram. Wait, wait. Let great. me just go back, okay? Okay. I know I, got, I, I talk about Gina um, quite a bit. And, and you guys are always like, well, why do you hate Gina? Okay, I can tell you why I hate Gina. I don't hate her. I don't... I just dislike her. I don't hate anyone. I do hate people, but I don't, I dislike her. And the reason why I dislike Gina is because during this whole pandemic thing, she didn't have my back. She went on Entertainment Tonight, was, she, 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 she didn't, she just didn't have my back. And she was talking really bad about me yeah. on Entertainment Tonight. She had opportunities to defend Kelly and, and she, she chose not yeah. to instead. And I had like her. awful like messages, like, like, why wouldn't you defend me? And let me take this off now. Are you yes. getting warm? No, because. Oh, oh, your microphone. I'll pull it up. Um. Oh, here, you want your hat. And so I feel like this girl is a um, an opportunist. I, I think that she is, I, I, I just, I don't like her now, okay? I, I don't. She didn't yeah. have my back, and mm-hmm. now I don't, I don't like her. And, and I really don't like her now is because her ego is out to here. And Shannon and I, when we were friends and I wasn't on the show, Shannon would say, this girl, ego is so inflated she's like you can put a pin in it right mm-hmm. put it like she was like it was it is so ridiculous how full of of herself that she is uh it's 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 disturbing actually so um she thinks she's hot stuff 
she thinks that she's so anyway um i have a friend and i'm not going to name names and he went to uh he deals with a lot of famous people Mm -hmm. a lot and he said that he went to an event uh with her Mm -hmm. um and somebody else i'm not going to say because if i do say (sighs) then we'll give it away who it Uh is uh and she was bragging she she said something like um yeah why don't you come over here and you can you know make some money doing this and this and this and she's like honey i sit on my couch and i'm just printing money and she's like this she's like i'm on my couch and i he, and he filing was my nails. yeah filing my he was filing her she's like filing my nails and i'm just um printing money like mm-hmm. that like she doesn't need it like she doesn't need it yeah like she's like badass yeah and i'm and thinking your friend said that he could not stand he, her he was my right? other well the other friend was like i cannot stand her uh-huh. she is so and this is a person who gets along with pretty much everybody yeah pretty much she's like i, yeah. I can't stand her like, the way she acts and the way she behaves. Can I interject something? Yeah. I worked in TV, as you probably know, for 35 years. And I witnessed this myself many times. Where someone who becomes semi-famous on television lets it go right to their head. Yeah. And my, It's like Anchorman. My first wife was like that. Yeah. And I learned what a was very... It, Penny Daniels? Yeah, I learned a very valuable lesson from her, which is that you can't think you're better than anybody else. And you can't let the job go to your head because... Because you look like an asshole. You have to stay humble. Well, the thing about it, too... Okay, listen, I can't... And obviously, we're I, not better I, than anybody I, okay, else. Okay, I can't, I can't stand Heather Dubro. But you know what? Heather Dubro does not miss an opportunity to make money. She'll go on QVC. She goes on... She has a podcast. She does... Uh, I mean, she'll do a commercial. She will do anything... Same with Tamara. Same with Vicky. Same with Shannon. They okay? hustle. They hustle no matter what. They're not... And by the way, those people are making a million dollars off the show a year. Uh huh. So I see this on Instagram, and I was flabbergasted by uh, and appalled. Do you want me to play it, and then you can react? Yeah, to it? yeah. Okay, here it is. Your fellow housewives, do you think would get the least amount of money if they sold their home? Oh my God! Shady Whale, you are something. Wow, Shady Whale, that's a lot of blubber. Uh. I, well, I haven't been to everyone's homes, but I, I'm not doing that. That's so mean. Okay. It is um, you're right. <laughs> I mean, I think it's probably Gina. <laughs> I'm glad you said it. Well, I How think she has know? a casita, right? Okay, Andy, here's what I have to say about that. There are six cast members in this franchise, and four of them are homeowners, not six. I am one of them. In addition, I am the only cast member to own my home by myself without a husband. That nail going like this, doing this, like that, and she sounds like she's like on drugs or some kind oh, of... Oh, yeah, I thought she was sober. I watched this, I'm like, what is she on? Okay, I am the only... There's four, and I own my own home. First of all, you bought that $500,000 condo apartment by the sale of your house in Cota de Casa that your husband you guys split the proceeds okay by yourself by your husband you have a boyfriend living with you with his three children don't say that you're doing it all by yourself and that you're not having or, or unless he's a freeloader and here he's living off you I, I, I don't in know in other words he's helping with the mortgage payments well why would why would you move some guy in if he's not going to help you but She's saying a husband. Well, you have a guy living with you. Yeah. And regardless, you have a whether you have somebody living with you, you have somebody helping you. Right. Don't say, oh, I'm I'm doing this all by myself. No, you're not. Because if you did, you wouldn't have moved a man in that you're not married to with three kids, okay? And you got that sale of that house and you put the down payment on your little condo. You live in Mission VA Ho, okay? You don't even live close to the beach. Okay, you and, and by the way, okay, go ahead. The, All right, here's the rest. Here's the rest. And I am 10 to 20 years younger than all my other castmates. So maybe we don't paint this picture like I'm dragging behind the herd because I'm not. That was unkind, Mr. Cohen. Mm. <laughs> I, 
I am 10 years, 20 years behind this group. I owned a $5 million home, okay? Uh, 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 Shannon lived in a $15 million home. I think this was a, a clap back at Shannon. I think this was a, an attack on Shannon. Shannon is 15, 20 years, but she's had it up to here and you have it down to here, girl, okay? <laughs> You will never, ever get to those levels of Shannon. Yeah, she might be. But when you're six years old, I guarantee you, you'll still be in that condo. Okay? I guarantee you will be in that condo. You, it just makes me sad. And she's like, I own my home. No, you don't. Okay? You own a, like, your, your payment is $2,500 a month. Shannon did rent. Yeah, but you're renting from the bank, girl. Like, I, I just, I hate when people go, I own my home. Unless you own your house outright, yeah. which a lot of people do here in Newport Beach, uh -huh. then you own your home. I've seen millions of people during the subprime loan where they said, I own my home. And then they, and, lost, and then they lost their house. They yeah. lost their ass, okay? So don't say you own your home. You own your home when you own it outright. Fair and, enough. And it just, it really, really irks me because... It she, grinds your gears. It grinds my gears because Shannon at least didn't move a man in. She got a beautiful house for her kids so they could spend their years in high school in a beautiful place, having beautiful memories. Yeah, it was a nice house. And it was a gorgeous home. Like seven bedrooms. Okay, so yeah. for you to say you're 20 years younger than these people, that just, it just, it, it gets me. Okay. Well, we may talk about this a little bit more on our recap of the Real Housewives final reunion episode, and that will yeah. be on this YouTube channel. I owned, I owned a Wednesday final, night. you can look it up. Or I morning. owned a five hundred thousand dollar home in Scottsdale, Arizona, in uh, or rent or rented it from the bank when I was twenty five years old. Yeah, okay? that's impressive. Twenty five years impressive. old. All right. So, like, you're not that big of a deal, girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. It's like down and out in Orange County. You know, <laughs> down and out in Beverly Hills. <laughs> I, got I don't want to watch six kids shoved in a two bedroom condo. I don't yeah. want to watch that. And I, if I were her, I wouldn't be bragging about it. She's bragging about it like she's some big, huge, like, like big deal. Like, um, shut up. Okay. Uh, enough about her. Hey, enough, don't you think? enough about me. Let's talk about you. So, right. what do you think about me? I think you're amazing. I think you are too. <laughs> um. We're not going to do an in the news today because, as we mentioned, uh, well, we talked about on Monday why we're not doing news right now because that dominates the news, and we this isn't the format for that. We do, of well, course, we do talk about it on Patreon, which we are going yeah, to talk about. We're going deep on this topic. I spent over a year in Israel, cumulatively over fourteen trips when I worked for Fox News, and I spent over a month in Gaza. I was there for the last war with Israel, 30 days in Gaza. I know Palestinian people. I covered their plight. I'm, I'm very familiar with what goes on in Rick the, said that, in the that, Palestinian that, 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 Rick said that the, some, the Palestinians were very lovely people. I, I he made said good friends very, Yeah, good friends. There. You made good Palestinian but friends. I, I, but this but, is not an endorsement of, of what happened. I am outraged, absolutely disgusted by what's happening. Don't want to get into it here because, you know, this is not the place for it. Unfortunately, we can't really talk about it, but we will talk about it on Patreon in depth. Um, but we do want to send our thoughts and prayers to the people of Israel who are suffering beyond belief. What happened there is just more awful than anything any of us could probably imagine. And I, I just feel like I, I just want to sit down and cry when I hear about the babies and yeah, the, the innocent that just got killed. I know, it's horrible. I know, it's terrible. Um, so uh, again, um, we're sending strength their way, and we hope all of you are too. And we really appreciate your support here on YouTube, and um, we hope that you guys have a smash-tastic day. And once again, thank you for the anniversary wishes. Cheers, yeah. my love. And thank you to our patrons for uh, the lovely champagne and uh, celebrating with us. So thank yeah. you guys so much. Yeah. Take care, everybody.